low internet world. Uh, just a neat little experiment here. If you say if you got magnesium, right, but you don't have any nitrates or chlorates, so you really can't make a traditional flash. Well, here's a couple of neat tricks to make flash or flash-like stuff using sulfates and uh, or a hydroxide. Um, we got four different things we're going to test here. Um, if you're going to use, uh, uh, oh, hold on, let's let's get to this first actually. One of them is sodium hydroxide and magnesium. Uh, when this burns, it's more of like a thermite reaction. So what it will do is it will break down and it will turn the sodium hydroxide into actual pure sodium metal. So if you were to do this in an air-free environment, you could actually harvest the sodium. Um, when you when you do it in the open, it, it just reburns after. We've got barium uh, sulfate and magnesium. These are all, by the way, one-to-one -one mixes. Here we have uh, copper uh, sulfate pentahydrate that I I turned it into a hydrous, I turned it from blue into white and you just put it on a, your heat mantle in a stainless steel plate on high heat for a while, watch it stir it around, it'll go from blue to white and then you can use it for this. Again, one to one. And the one that seems to work the least well is potassium sulfate and magnesium. So let's get to these, I'll set them up. Carry the camera outdoors. Nothing growing here yet, but boy, it's it's uh, actually really nice and warm today. It's um, up around 70 F, and it's only March, so this is look at the building coming down. <laughs> this is dangerous. But we'll uh, we'll do the tests right here. I'm going to start with what I believe is the slowest to move our way up. So we're going to start with the uh, we're going to start with the potassium sol uh, sulfate first, um, because that was the one in, that had the least zip, in my opinion. So, so here's the potassium and magnesium. This one also doesn't light easy. It actually takes a minute to light. Make sure the camera can see where that is. Yep. Doesn't burn too bad, but not real great. Now this is the sodium hydroxide and magnesium. Like I said, if you do this like in a soup can, or something to seal it off on the top without totally sealing because it will explode. Um, and then you let it cool off and open it up, you'll be able to actually harvest nice uh, clean, not really clean because I have a slag on it, but you'll be able to get nice pure sodium metal. So that is hydroxide and magnesium, sodium hydroxide. Okay. That's pretty cool, huh? Now we got barium sulfate and magnesium. You gotta be careful, I don't want these to light up the other. So I'm setting them down. Woo, nice and quick. <laughs> blinding too. This one here is the best. I'm not going to put it all there. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Hopefully this doesn't detonate. You know, I'm going to move the camera over just because I don't want to have to get setting this stuff real near to where the other hot spots were with this one. And this one here is going to be the copper sulfate pentahydrate that I turned into anhydrous copper sulfate and mixed with the magnesium. This one here is incredibly fast. That would probably make a really good, uh, uh, it could make even a burst charge, I suppose. See how fast that was? It actually made a popping noise when it went. Well, with all the stuff going on recently, we're probably going to be having a lot of time on our hands to make videos. A lot of places are locking down and quarantining and stuff like that. It's already started here in the States. Um, so I'll probably be making more videos. Um, another question, if 
do any of you guys that like my videos, do you like metal fabrication, um, welding, things like that? Because if you do, I thought about using my other channel that I have, the other YouTube channel, or making another bit shoot uh, just for uh, metal fabrication. Let me know in the comments. Thanks.